what is next for the ex-Muslim movement? What, going global, like right. like they built community. So far, what we've done is like they built community, saying like, "Hey, you're not alone. There's more of us here. Come meet us. We can help. We can protect you. We can provide community." Uh, and then the second phase, I think, was, um, "Hey, let's build some content. Let's create some." you know, podcasts and YouTube channels. But then, so we've done content, but the thing is these content are also, uh, are in English, right? Um, some of them, uh, are also in German. Like I think I posted Prophet wants to do, it's mostly Western country languages, right? So I think the next phase that we should get into is, is, is the replication of both of these two waves for the ex-Muslims that need it the most. They are the ex-Muslims in Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Malaysia, Egypt, uh, Iran, and everywhere else. So we want to now go on to producing content that is that they can consume, uh, separate for them, like in their languages, right? And also to translate what they have to say to English so that we give them a global audience. And we need to find a way hopefully if we get enough resources to uh to you know f find an effective way to do that r repetitively right like not just one or two videos like constantly have shows on a weekly basis on that uh, for them and from them and then the final phase i think which is an impossible almost phase is to build uh communities for them where they are which is if high, such a high security risk. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash S-J-M-E.